Hey folks, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Scientists in Iowa have created a new fuel cell made of paper. Technically, what the researchers at Iowa State University have created is called a paper-based microbial fuel cell. It uses capillary action to pull a chemical and a solution containing bacteria into small chambers, where their biochemical reaction produces power. The device is capable of generating power for five days, which is a first for this type of fuel cell. The two main advantages of this fuel cell are its use of natural capillary action to transport the necessary biochemical fluids, which requires no external power and therefore allows 100% of the power it produces to be used, and its construction out of inexpensive and biodegradable materials. The paper on this paper-based microbial fuel cell is published in the journal Technology. Next up, thanks to new research, improved treatments for degenerative eye diseases could be on the way. Researchers at the Buck Institute for Research on Aging in Novato, California are working on harnessing a natural repair mechanism of the eye to improve outcomes for regenerative therapies using stem cells. Such therapies represent promising treatments for many degenerative disorders but they often fail because most regenerated cells are unable to integrate into their surrounding tissue. The team at the Buck Institute conducted a mouse study where they added a supplement to transplanted eye cells consisting of mesencephalic astrocyte-derived neurotrophic factor, or MANF, a natural anti-inflammatory mechanism. This increased the success rate and effectiveness of the treatment. With further research, the Buck Institute team hopes MANF and similar natural repair mechanisms can be used to create more effective therapies for degenerative eye disorders of all kinds, including age-related macular degeneration, which afflicts millions of people every year. The study is published in the journal Science. And finally, two international teams of physicists and cosmologists have laid the foundation for the creation of the most accurate models yet of the universe. The teams have created new computer codes that use Einstein's complete theory of general relativity to account for why matter clumps together in some regions of space while other regions seem to lack significant amounts of matter altogether. The new models will enable scientists to take maximum advantage of the data expected to come from new galaxy surveys in coming years. The computer codes were created by both teams to explore how small-scale structures create large-scale effects throughout the universe. Using Einstein's theory to describe the relationship between matter and space-time allows the models to rely less on assumptions making them able to simulate the complexity of the universe with more precision and accuracy than ever before. The work of these two teams is featured in the journals Physical Review Letters and American Physical Society Physics. A paper-based fuel cell uses capillary action to generate power. A natural repair mechanism could lead to more effective therapies for degenerative eye diseases. And scientists rely on good old Einstein to create the most accurate models of the universe yet. That's the good news. Hey folks, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also please consider helping us to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash Steve Shives to become a patron. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time. We will.